I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very beautiful question from one of our subscribers. Abdul, thanks a lot for posting this particular question. It is indeed a challenging one and it's very difficult to find solution of such questions on internet. I really encourage you to share the solution with your friends and let them also watch solution of this particular question posted by you. Determine the remainder when 3x to the power of 4 plus 5x squared plus 4 is divided by x squared plus 2. Now x squared plus 2 cannot be factored, right, in the domain of real numbers. So the question really is to do without long division. Using remainder theorem. Now that is the challenge part. Do you understand? So this is challenging. That is what you need to do. So I will do it in two parts. So what I will do is we'll do this challenge part in part two. I mean in this video, but later half. Let me first share with, let's first find remainder using long division. It will just take a minute to do that. So what we have here is the function which is 3x to the power of 4 plus 5x squared plus 4. Now the terms are missing but they are also missing in the divisor, right? So divisor is x squared plus 2. So we need not fill in the placeholders. Perfect. So I could divide this by 3, so we get 3x, rather 3x squared, so we get 3x to the power of 4 plus 6x squared, and when you take away, you get minus x squared plus 4, and further, dividing by minus 1, you get minus x squared minus 2, and then the remainder which you get is 6. So we know that remainder is 6. Now that is just a check. We really have to do this solution, not with long division, but without long division. So I'll take up that part now. So let's see how to find the remainder without doing long division for such a question. So Abdul, here is the solution for you. The divisor here is x squared plus 2. It is a quadratic function. Now it could be factored in the domain of complex numbers. So that is kind of very important to understand, right? So in the domain of complex number, I'll introduce with iota whose square is equals to minus one. Is that clear to you, right? So x square plus two can actually be factored and be written as x plus i square root 2 times x minus i square root 2. Right? So when you multiply them, a square minus b square, iota square is negative 1, you get x square plus 2. You get an idea. So remember one part that any complex, any quadratic equation will have, always have two roots, right? The roots could be real or complex. Roots could be exactly one, twice, right? Double root at one point. But practically, it will have two roots. So that gives you the key to our solution, correct? So these are the two factors of x squared plus 2. And now, what we are trying to figure out is the value of this function, the polynomial, let's say, what is the value of this polynomial for i square root 2? So I'll substitute i square root 2 and find this answer. So what we get here is, let's do it. So in this, the value of the polynomial 
for i square root 2 is equal to 3 times i square root 2 to the power of 4 plus 5 times i square root 2 square plus 4 right now i to the power of 4 will be plus 1 i square is we know i to the power of 4 will be square of this so it is going to be plus 1 is that clear to you right so so that part is plus 1 square root 2 to the power of 4 2 square is 4 right so we get 3 times 4 here and in this case i square is negative so we get negative because i square is negative 1 okay so we get 5 times square root 2 square is 2 plus 4 and this value is 12 minus 6 let me write here it is 12 minus 10 plus 4 which is equal to 6 let's also find the value of this polynomial at minus i square root 2 so that would be 3 times minus i square root 2 to the power of 4 plus 5 times minus i square root 2 square plus 4. Now this part is exactly same since minus to the power of 4 becomes positive, minus to the power of 2 becomes positive, so it is exactly same. So that is also equal to 6. You get the idea. But now we can use the division statement. So that's the key. So when you do all this, you can use the division statement. So I could write that the polynomial p of x could now be written as quotient times these two factors, which is x plus iota square root 2 times x minus iota square root 2. And since the divisor is of the form x square plus 2, the remainder will be linear ax plus b is that clear so we expect linear remainder since the divisor is quadratic perfect now if I substitute minus iota square root 2, what happens? I get the value of the polynomial, which is 6. And that is equal to, this part is going to be 0. So we get x replaced by minus iota square root 2. So we get minus i square root 2 a plus b. Is that clear? If I substitute plus i square root 2, I again get 6, but here I get plus i square root 2a plus b. So in fact, I get two equations to solve for two unknowns, a and b. Can I solve it or not? Yes, I can. Do you see that? So if I add these two equations, 1 and 2, what do I get? If I add these equations, 1 and 2, a terms get cancelled, we get 12 equals to 2 times b and that gives me b as equals to 12 divided by 2 which is 6. So we get the value of b, the constant as 6. Now let us do equation 1 minus equation 2. In that case 6 minus 6 is 0, right? So we get 0 equals to minus 2 times iota square root 2a and that gives us this 0 divided by that a as 0 so we get a equals to 0 so what is the remainder so remainder as you know was ax plus b and we found the value of a to be 0 and b to be 6 so the remainder is 6 as we found by long division. And therefore, we can say that the remainder when 3x to the power of 4 plus 5x square plus 4 is divided by x square plus 2 is 6. So I hope you like it. Perfect. So that is how it could be solved. So you may have to review the concept of complex numbers which I started with. 
But remember, every quadratic function can be factored. Every quadratic function can be factored in the domain of complex numbers. So you could actually extend it to complex numbers and get solution of such questions. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to share it with your friends. Like and subscribe to it. And let's see if we get more hits this time. Thanks for posting this question once again. And all the best.